Come in, peoples of all the places. What's happening, Brian? Name Paradise. Everybody's looking good. Yeah. Exactly. When do you head? When do you head further south? Uh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> hopefully, by before or by April fifteenth is is what we're shooting for. Do you already find a spot and everything? No, oh, man, it's hard. It's hard. It is hard, and, and it's super hard because I'm in the middle of. I'll tell everybody here in a second. Um, today's going to be a little different than usual. Let's see, Trav. I'm going to make you a moderator too. I've been looking at property down there for about a year now, trying to decide what to do. They don't it's, let people with mustaches down there. That's why I got the goatee going. Okay, you got to do it. You should be good then, man. I'm trying to grow this in, but it looks more like uh, post office -ish. Dude, you look you look like that one, the, the emu, Limu Emu guy, dude. Limu <laughs> Emu! And Brad, or whatever the guy's name is. Steve. All right. Um, so first thing you're going to notice is different. And Zach, I'll travel that you guys work on uh, admitting people to the room. First thing that's different about today is that there is no opening song or comedy bit um, because I am on thin bandwidth. And if I try to stream something, it's uh, it's probably not going to go well. It's true. And you're just not nearly as funny when you don't have good bandwidth. I'm not. I'm, ha I'm literally 60% less funny. That's true. It's, I want to give a shout out to some people who got their video on. Do it. What's up, Buco or Bucho? Nice to see you. Nicholas, Max, yeah, the ambassador. Y'all are great. Eric, EK, Patify. You say that wrong, doesn't sound like a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is, last initial isn't L. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Bitlord in the house. Got, we got the original OG badass or technical rift here. And how's B Strick not a badass? How come you don't help out any? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want help doing? I would you. totally be down. You. I'm not even employed. I haven't worked since last June. What's work? Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Either not congratulations really nice. or I hope you get the job soon or I hope you I got some great crypto doing. gains. Yeah, not today. Not Bitcoin's not. going down. Bitcoin's yeah. like 52 uh. right now. The hell, Bitcoin. Let's yeah. it's dying. We're over. Again. It's going up all the time. Uh, so number two is for the first time since uh, week one that we've done a hero report, there is no presentation. Um, and that is because the NFT space is absolutely explodifying. Not only are we hard at work on, um, on blockchain hero stuff and Upland collectibles, but uh, I am taking more calls now that I am in Florida from big names. Um, it, it's insane. Like I hang up, I had another call Travis, so you don't even know about yet. Somebody we're supposed to be interviewing. And if I had confirmation for it, I would tell you guys who it is right now, but major film director is all I can say right now that you, everybody would know that is uh, releasing an NFT set and uh, would be on the nifty show and bad crypto. So I just hung up with them and supposed to talk to their, the guy's manager tomorrow to see if we're going to make it happen. Uh, but we, we had another conversation today with a gigantic band, um, not gigantic because of the number of members in the band, gigantic because <laughs> there's 40, it's an orchestra. Yeah. Basically <laughs> there's like 80 people in it and they play strings and whatnot and the horns and the things. It's as phenomenal as it is. It gets, um, had a great, another conversation, several conversations this week with a, uh, a film producer from a film and a franchise you would all know, and they're leaning heavily towards uh, partnering with us to create an NFT set. Um, and then there's another legend of, of rock. Uh, and then there's a legend of art. And this is m my week in Florida has been spent mostly indoors um, with a view of palm trees outside the window. Th this has been my view all week, my laptop right here. So I have not had time to even put together the presentation. So we're going to wing it tonight. And Travis is going to sing. Wow. He, Travis is going to do a song um, 
instead of playing a hero report song. Charles, I'm gonna say so the song I got is cha ching because I'm making some trades right now. I got a couple got I got a couple coins I've been looking at and the prices have dipped. And so when they dip, you buy, right? Dip the doodles. Yeah. I'm selling so. some of my other shit coins to buy some other shit coins. <laughs> that didn't turn out so well last time you did that. Just saying. <laughs> but this time it's different, Joel, because it's a different day. All right, so I'm gonna wing this by actually just logging into a uh, thing. And several times today I've been attempted to screen share and I've lost connection and had to come back. So um, I've got the other guys here as moderators. Hopefully that won't happen, but let's take a look at the state of the union here. Go to my hero tools on Atomic Hub. 90.41% of Series 1 packs unpackified. Getting there. And we passed the 70% mark on Series 2 packs. Does not include the mini packs, just the uh, the primary packs, not the, the promotional one-card packs, which surprisingly are going for $8 each. ka -ching. Go figure. <clears throat> so what does that mean about... Um, Genesis, let's take a look. Nope, still hasn't dropped. 806 packs left of the 10,000 hero packs. 91.94% have been opened. And he is still nowhere in sight. He's not even on the page. Like he's, he's, he's hiding so much. There he is. He's coming out to play. I summoned him. So he's still out there. And uh, to my recollection, the Blue Wizard has a $20,000 bounty on his hooded head. So that's happening. That's pretty fancy. Yeah. Uh, let's see where we are on how many collectors. All right, I think I'm done with my shitcoin acquisitions for the moment. Very good. Pretty excited. Uh, loading Joel up. Joel is frozen. I like it when he gets frozen like that because he makes, we can just like draw, draw on his face there when he gets frozen like that. All right, am I back? You're back. All right. So we weren't talking shit on you while you were gone. I heard every word. Shut up. So <laughs> shut up. Be drawn on my face. I'd be drawing penises on my face or something. Just little ones. Just little ones. So uh, these are all that are left of the collector's editions. If you haven't upgraded, I mean, everybody should have an extra set of common heroes by now or common villains. Grab your uh, your CE edition. Here's how many uncommons are left of each heroes and villains. Uh, 10 of 50 rares left, 17 of the, uh, the villains rares left, of the epics, 8 and 11, and of the legendaries, there's only 4 disciple legendary collector's editions left, and only 2 res feed, so if you plan on getting one of those and not having to buy them on secondary market, it is always happens, the moment they're gone, the values of them traditionally go up, because people can't get anymore, so get yours. Get it. Look at them. Yeah, those are those are beautiful. Those are gone. So still only there's still only two. Hold on a second. There's still only two legendaries of the villains. Two, yeah. You can there's two res feeds. Wow. So let's see what we got here on Stonk Wars. 75%, 0.33% have now been opened. And let's see what the value of one of these is. Looks like they're going for forty-one dollars and sixteen wow. cents right now. That's a pretty good open rate there for these uh, three That's card true. packs. Maybe next time we should just like start selling them at forty dollars a pack, since <laughs> that's what people are. That would be horrible. That would not deliver delight. That would deliver empty pocketbooks. We want to make sure that would deliver hanger, furious hanger, affordable. Uh, let's see what's happening in the realm of the artifacts. Just rolling over one of them. Twenty attempts have been made. Let's mm. see what. Let's see what is actually. Let me go to the collections and see what is actually available. <clears throat> so twenty of them have been burned. That means there's only a few of those other ones. Oh, so there's only twenty-two artifacts of flight left. That's the rarest. That is correct. Uh, left as of now, there are. Um, it, these come out of phase two hero packs. So if you get your hands on a phase two hero pack, 
the artifact of flight can pop out of those. These are these are uh, each 100 right here because these are all pre mints. So those are guaranteed that there's 100, although some phase one mm. packs have still been sealed, so they're not released. You have um, almost enough to uh, to ascend yourself, Joel, and maybe you can detach yourself from me. I know there's something witty I can say there. I just don't remember. I don't know what it is. We are joined at uh, the hip. <clears throat> we're almost uh, full up on the artifacts of fraud. 99 of them have been released. So once the last one comes out of a Titan pack, phase two, no more will be minted. It's amazing to me like how many more of them there are. I guess Titan pack series, series two or phase two of Titan pack. They're just much more opened up, I guess, or what? It's like, look at that. It's like, more than double the amount of those have been uh, opened up. Yeah, I think the odds were better in a Titan pack of getting one, so mm -hmm. more dropped. Um, same thing with the galleries, 99 out of the full supply of 100 are out there already. And then you get your phase three packs. 59 from um, phase three hero packs have been put out there. Again, more can come from existing packs that haven't been opened. Titan packs, artifact of binary. Um, there is 49 of them right now. Only 49 of those have descended. Mm -hmm. And then the artifact of balance from the gallery crates phase 360. So there's still plenty of opportunities to, um, to ascend and more of these artifacts of flight are going to come out and more of these artifacts of binary and balance are going to come out as well as people open packs. So uh, if you're hodling these and you're looking for these artifacts, you don't want to pay secondary market prices. It might make more sense to pop packs and see if you can locate them because as excited as we are that Craig is, has ascended to be a hero, we'd love to see more people uh, achieve this goal as well. Don't we? He's lonely. Craig is lonely. Don't let me be the only hero. The lonely. All right, let's see here. What else we got going? I'm actually gonna open up last week's presentation just so I have something to go on. I know I've got some, uh, we're gonna reveal some Upland stuff here in just a little bit. Uh, let's see. All right, last week, uh, let me, I'm gonna show these really quick from last week's. As some of you are wondering, what the hell do I do with these other than make them look pretty? So last week you were dropped the moats of redemption, corruption, and balance. <clears throat> and you were dropped moat spawns if you did complete collections, moat level one, uh, grade two, and grade three. And I remember Zach saying, I wouldn't sell these. So what's the first thing that happens? People put them on the market. Uh, Zach, would you like to re-emphasize why selling these might not be the best idea? Yeah, because number one, you guys don't uh, really know what opportunities you're going to have to secure more of these in the future. And number two, you have no idea what's actually going to be done with them. Uh, you're going to need to be patient through the next few events because uh, we're not quite focusing on actually putting them to use yet, but that is coming. You're also going to see more types of moats and moat spawns come out in the next couple of events as well. It's gonna get moaty and spawny both at the same time. So, and look at them, they're so cute. Got a little baby grade one and this guy, the, the pig cat dog thing <laughs> is the grade two. Pig cat dog. And then lizardy creature type thing with gecko fingers and stuff. Uh, is your your grade three and he's at the store he's going shopping he's going to the hardware store because he needs things so <clears throat> those came from your update 2.6 um, there was only one person that had successfully completed three legendary border collections and he got all three of those grade three um, moat spawns so uh, will there be more I hope so. I hope so what's be more valuable, the moat spawns or the moats? Depends yeah. on what you're like doing. The moat spots are going to help you earn more moats. 
Dude, these moats are on sale for like two dollars a piece out here, you guys. People selling off your moats. <laughs> so moat it be. So uh, just a reminder that this might actually happen the first week of April. I've heard back from uh, from the team at Meme. More than one of you have written me saying, "Should I do this?" And my answer is, "Well, if you want to, do it." I mean, you're this is. A special um, Ethereum-based release. You have to own Meme Coin in order to get them. And the price of Meme shot up. Let's see. There was a news story, and I can't remember. Um, oh no! It got it's got it's got some funding for some from some big players. They got funding, yeah. So it is that. Well, actually, it popped up to thirty-five hundred, and it's back down to three thousand seventy-seven right now. Um, but when I told you guys about it last week, it was about 2,300. Didn't know funding was coming, but you have to, uh, if you're going to do it, I'd go all in. Okay. And, and all in is five meme because bless you, because you'll stake those five meme with the collection. In fact, let me just show you guys how it works on the site. So there are no questions about the things. I don't think, have we, I haven't shown this yet, have I? This will be the first time. So don'tbuymeme.com is the thing. So, you know, you connect to your, your MetaMask, connect your wallet on the site. Now, this is their Genesis collection here, not to be confused with our Genesis collection. And you could see I was staking meme for quite some time because I've got over 276 pineapples. Um, and you manage your stake just by going here and clicking stake or unstake. I'm, I'm not, I don't have any pineapples to stake, stake at the moment because I haven't staked to a different pool. But this was what they started with and they created these memes, most of them pineapple centric and uh, silly. Uh, the quality of the art, debatable on some of them. But like you could see right now, if I wanted to, there's out of um, a thousand of these 462 are left and I could redeem 10 of my pineapples and just pay the gas fee, which right now is $56. I'm not going to do that for a thousand quantity meme. Okay. But I could, you can see a lot of these are sold out. Can't get them anymore. Obviously the lower quantity ones and cooler ones go quicker. So you can look through these on your own, but what they started doing is they then made artist collections. <clears throat> so usually like every two weeks, they'll release a new artist collection. These are older ones here. Uh, they did the biggest one I've had so far was the Fuocious collection right here. And um, they auction off a one of one. This one went for 52 meme at the time. That was probably closer to, I don't know, $50,000. Now it's worth a lot more. Um, and then this is how they do the collections. There's three cards. So the one of one, they auction just for meme. And then there's three cards. So there's always 500 of one, 100 of another, and then 10 of the last. And you could see there's a cost associated. You'll need 15, 30, or 45 pineapples in order. This one also on top of the gas, 0.01 ETH to mint. This one, 0.1, and this one is one ETH to mint. You can see they all sold out, all of them. I've still got one of these right now, and I have an offer on OpenSea of 2.2 ETH for it. I paid 0.01. So that's Fuocious. That's, you know, they're not all like that, uh, but there's a lot of different artists that they're doing collections right now. I am staking the latest one, this guy named Remo Hayes. And they auctioned off, or are auctioning, off, I gotta unlock my wallet, hang on. It is unlocked, what are you talking about? Okay, so why is it not showing my wallet? Let me refresh. My internet connection is unstable. Yeah, hang on. See what's going on here. For some reason, it's not logging into my wallet. All right, this one went for 5.2 meme. This is the one of one. I guess it's got audio.
kind of. All right, here's the three that are up right now. And you can see I've got five meme staked and I've earned 26.1806 pineapples. This keeps changing throughout the day. I'm going for 30. Right now I could buy this one if I wanted to, but my strategy has been to go for the middle one for 0.1 ETH and 30 pineapples. So tomorrow, uh, I would say around noon, I should have 30 pineapples. And then I will grab one of these 100. And then I'll wait three more days. Those are pretty cool. They're, they've leveled up their memes, haven't they? Much, yeah. I'm not going to go for this one because the, uh, the meme um, whales know how to time it to get in quick. You have to pay one ETH for it. The ones who get it, they, they're usually worth more. Um, I don't play, I, I don't watch it as closely as they do. So I go for one of these. I haven't had a problem getting a one of a hundred of any of them yet. And then usually I don't have a problem three days later picking up one of these as well for 0.01. Mm -hmm. I just noticed that I would always forget about them. And then I would have a shit ton of pineapples left over and I couldn't do anything with them. And then I was just like, man, these memes suck anyway. I'm getting out of here. Well, they're, they're going to have a solution uh, so that you can move your pineapples from one um, pool. To Although it. I noticed that I have about 30 uh, pineapples sitting in the, um, the block of uh, the Bitcoin origins room. So if they ever open up another one, like I, I guess each moment they seem to be putting something else in there. Yeah. I should just be able to go in there and snag one immediately. Yeah, if they put them from the same pool, absolutely. So this is going to be the guy that's um, the, the common that is available for 0.01 ETH. There'll be 250 of them that uh, are available. And then if you um, stake and claim 30 pineapples, the epic version of pint size will be within reach. And he will be 0.1 ETH. And for the few whales that work really quickly the uh the legendary pint size there will only be 10 of them and they will be one ETH each and then finally the one of one auction will just be up for bids for meme coin is the action card i love how he does that with his fingers he's like yo see he busts through one kind of a Kyrie kill kind of a thing the he third, does time. third time he busts through, he does the, the piece. Or maybe it's the fourth. Let's see. Okay, starting again. One. Third. Two. Three. Okay, it's the fourth time. Nice. So this one is going to be up for uh, for auction in a one of one. It seems like he should do it after he's gone busting through the second wall, because then he's like, two. So there's that. Good stuff. Love that. That's cool. And I would say this, folks. I mean, it's it's too rich for my blood. I'm not going in there and buying five more memes at three grand each. That's 15 grand for these things. It's crazy. But really think about it this. It's really about getting people who are in that ecosystem over to our ecosystem to participate. And so... They're going to participate one way or the other. I will not, but it's cool. I mean, we're having fun with it. It's a really awesome NFT project. They've, they've, they're doing really great. They're getting some great funding. Maybe sometime they'll do something where they can, you know, we, we were talking about with Joel and I were having a conversation, like maybe they do a split where like, because they don't have a whole lot of coins, right? So it kind of prices a lot of people out. Yeah, so um it, they're, they're on, it's going to sell out. There's no question. I think we should take some bets on how many meme the, uh, the action card goes for. Uh, but they said they might be pushing this live the first week in April. So uh, we'll let you guys know as soon as we know when it's going to go live. But it's, uh, I initially thought it was going to be mid-April. So it looks like it's, uh, it's moving up. From it looks like the really cool pizza one from Bitcoin Origins went for like 3.3 meme. So do you think we can beat that? But the price of meme was less than, so I don't know. It's really, it's all relative. Right. So um, I got an email from uh, our friend Darren Cullen at Graffiti Kings, and I am looking for it because he sent me a picture of the, uh, the Genesis figure in progress. Ah, I think I found it. 
<clears throat> yes, there it is. Ha! Let me download this really quick and I'll show you guys. So these uh, 100 Genesis, of which 90 will be made available for sale, these are all going to be hand painted. So this is this is the work in progress. Is this this is one actually work in progress? Yeah, this is like this. Wow, is, look at that. This is probably the mold, right, or something. I would imagine that they're using. Uh, I see the hand where he's spraying, getting ready to spray the paint can. Is that it? That's cool. he, he's got uh, Bitcoin in his, his uh, left hand. He's got the Bitcoin bling around his neck. So all this is in progress. And once these are done, they're going to hand paint all 100 of them. They will be uh, NFTified with their own unique ID on blockchain. And we will make them available uh, in a sale. And I'm assuming that they're going to be gone like that, which is why the team are each getting one before the sale, we're not buying them. We're, we're making sure that we uh, we get one because, damn it, I want one on my shelf. I might, be, I might buy one anyway, too. Exactly. Travis likes to compete with y'all, so he might get one, too. I just want mint number 21. I have no pull with that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, here's something that I just thought of that we need to talk about. Hero token. It's not going away. Been in communication with um, with Roll, and they um, they were willing to forego all the rest of their hero to us, to to Travis and myself, yeah. and uh, and I told him no, we don't want that. Uh, we yeah. want you to be vested in this this token as well, and and uh, not that they wouldn't promote still if they didn't own any, but it just seems like you know they didn't. It was theft, right? Stuff happens, and uh, I didn't want to be douchey about it. They're not being douchey about it. They did, however, uh, add a bunch of liquidity to the uh, the pool. I saw it get as high as eleven cents. I'm loading it up now. Yeah, it's it's there right now. Um, I saw they added like thirty thousand dollars in liquidity to the pool, so it's bounced back from point oh one three to eleven and a half cents. There's no more in the hands of the thieves. Everything has been, you know, that they sold, sold into the pool. And so we are back on track with Hero. Um, and it's it's still just 50 to get into the members area of the Discord. Um, and we will be doing some cool stuff with that. And working, on some, working with the programmer on some code that is going to do a very specific activity for Discord that's not available anywhere else. So the hero community and the hero token are here to go. Maybe whenever the next distribution gets plopped out, because you get a new distribution every month, maybe we do the distribution, and then we just put some of it in the liquidity on ETH. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. So I'm pretty happy about that. You know, it's uh, a, a lot of the tokens there are recovering. <clears throat> pretty well. Whale is the one that has still taken, you know, the biggest hit from it. It's down from its high to $19.47. Um, everybody's taking a hit on it. It was, uh, it was pretty bad what happened. But How do you, uh, Lord, Lord Technical Rift, how do you not have 50? We've been giving them away all over the place. You just keep missing them or what? Which quit slacking. How come you don't have 50? You're a bad asser though, but I think you get access to all the rooms anyway. B Strick has zero. Sorry, brother. So here's the only upside to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're now the number eight token <laughs> on uh, on roll, thanks to everybody else's market cap also getting decimated. Uh, but I think we had we had more taken as a percentage than most of the others. Mm. Yeah, we had like one point something million sitting in that account, didn't we? It was like 13% got taken. Uh, yeah. Sad. Anyway, it's done. It's, it's, it's done. They sold, they lick, you know, uh, liquidated everything that they stole. Um, they drove the price down to one and a half cents. And now that they can't affect it anymore, it's, it's going to find its, um, 
its true value, which is a zillion dollars in space money. In magical internet money. We need to do that sometime where like everybody in Zoom turns on their video camera and then we record it, all of us singing magical internet money. That'd probably be horrible and great. And we can make an NFT from it. Atrocious and delightful all at the same mm -hmm. time. All right, let me pop open the, um, the Upland collection assets because the team is cranking out on this. We are almost done um, creating everything that is going to be in the Upland collectibles series, the Blockchain Heroes edition. Uh, but I'm just going to pull up some directly from the... Um, my explorer since i don't have the fancy schmancies to uh to pull up and let me show you some directors so you guys can get a feel for some of uh oh zach com is laughing about something what is it so i've been putting together uh legendary collections for the the ces that are still available and I was laughing at the irony that uh, um, the Penny Pinch Legendary is listed uh, for its cheapest price at 2,000 wax. Wow. That's a lot. That's why there's, that's probably why there's only two that have completed the burn, I guess. No, it's two that's left. There's only oh, a there's couple, two left. there's oh, two see. res feed uh, collector's editions available. Mm. What, what's really interesting is that the uh, the villain CE legendary was more popular than uh, the disciple legendary CE. Oh, that is funny. Uh, just rolling through some of the uh, the cards here for you guys to see. Uh, many of them are still being worked on, but let's take a look at some of the uh, the mythics here, or the legendary versions of them. Four stars. Now I love this. This is the this is really the very first set that has, for the most part, uh, set the community as the NFTs. Right, like these are community members, which is really cool. And let's look at some rare hero cards. There we go. So this is the first time I've even seen this one. There's Bright Stroke, Captain Crypto, Coin Killer. He's got the knife in his mouth and all. His dual guns are blazing. Dude, I love the reimagined versions of these. They're so it's very interesting. So you know, of course, the the big prizes in these are the uh, the mythics. And let's see, you got a bunch of them done here already. Good. So, you know, if you get these, I guess we still need to put the, the thing. Yeah, those are not, those are not done. Those have to be redone. The block explorers inside. When you pop one of these yellow blockchain heroes ones, that means you've got one of 10 because there's only going to be 10 of each in the set. And these will, it'll be funny to see which are roaming the, uh, the city first. Oh, look at that Genesis one. That is bad. I've never seen that before. That is beautiful. That is so cool. Wow. Oh, whoever gets that one, they're going to be so jazzed. Pull that one. Ginger, look at her. <laughs> Guys, I'm seeing some of these right now for the first time. Like the team has been cranking away and I haven't even had time to look at where they're at. This is fun. Yes, the blockchain explorer will pop up on the side. And then also, do we want to talk about the um, the up level? Yeah, let's do it in just a second. I just want to point out something here on uh, on Maximum. Uh, he hates NFTs. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, so go ahead, Trav, and, and talk about um, the plan. Uh, metallic is misspelled. Um, Make a note of that. What yeah. You so now when you guys are going to be opening up these packs you're going to be like oh i got a road blue i got a red i got an orange i got a i got a purple oh i got a yellow and um think of it like this 
you're going to want to have some of these duplicates here because you're going to want to up level them. And then in a couple of, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks at ish, three, four weeks afterwards, there'll be some mechanisms in place where you can start smashing these cards together. Think of it kind of how Street Fighter did it, but in a different way. You're going to smash these things. You're going to level them up. And there's going to become a moment where you smash something and it turns into something totally new and different that you then may or may not be able to import into the game. So this is something that's new. This is interesting and exciting and will be fun for everyone. Yeah, so the portal um, should open in Q2. They're aiming for late April, but more likely May. And when the portal opens, that's when you'll be able to take Mythic Blockchain Heroes Block Explorers and bring them into Upland. And it's also when you'll be able to take any of the NFTs that you have found in the collection and bring them into a gallery of some sorts, okay? So all that means all of the, uh, the, the directors as well you know, you won't be able to import somebody else's block explorer, but if you want to ha have a gallery in your house of, you know, any of the ones that you find, especially that one, because that's awesome, um, <clears throat> you'll be able to, you know, put those into your space. And then uh, shortly after the portal is open and all that functionality is live, we'll be introducing the up level mechanism. It's a fancy way of saying burn, but we like up level because it's up lend. And uh, there will be, you'll be able to create new items that can be imported for display in the game uh, that are not in the collection right now. So collecting duplicates is a good thing because you're going to need them. Yeah. And somebody just said, Jordan Pink just asked, what's a Gobby? Gobby would be the name of a person who is a, a director in Upland. It's a community explorer card. That is correct. Here are some prize cards that will be found. Those of you that are Upland players, you'll recognize many of these from uh, being in the game in some uh, way, shape, or form. Lots of reveals here. That's enough of those. Let's see, let's show you some I will save those for a while. I'll show you some postcards. Oh, they're not uploaded yet. Okay, can't show you those. Can you can't show the mythic that is located in... Oh yeah, show the stamps first. So all the stamps will actually be stampified, right? With stamp edges on them. They should have them on there. I don't know why they're not on there right now. Well, well it's... Uh, it's funny because if you look at the thumbnail, it looks like it's got it on it, but it's not displaying. So I don't know if it's your display or what or what. I'm gonna have to check and see. Might be. What did you want me to do here, Trev? Uh, you pull open up the signal, just pull up the signal and the conversation that we've had. Okay, I'll do that in a moment. Yeah. Um, so I thought we had the 3D cards there too. Am I just not synced? No, the 3D cards are uh, the Upland team created those, they haven't uploaded them. Okay. They got uploaded. Upload the uplands. So <clears throat> there's more of a preview. The Upland Discord is going to be revealing more of these to you. If you're not over there in their group, then you want to be because they're uh, they're showing off a lot of stuff. Want me to share my screen? Sure. Here would be an example of a uh, mythic postcard or a mythic illustration card that we're doing. Nice. You see the upland stuff going on up in there? Yeah. Those are so there'll be some treats up in there as well. And as we start smashing things together later on, there will be more delightful things like that uh, post up leveling. So you're going to see some of these cards are more kind of build card ish type of things that will be smashed together mm -hmm. later on and creating new mechanisms of good times for all. Yeah. And, you know, you guys, especially those of you that play Upland, know that they are constantly innovating and adding features and activities to the game. So we want the card set to track with that, just like Blockchain Heroes. You know, we didn't say, all right, get your packs and now go on your merry way. 
we said, get your packs and here's update 1.1 and 1.2 and 1.3 and so on and so on and so on. Uh, with, um, <clears throat> with First Strike, we, you just, uh, those of you who participated in collections, participated in 2.6. Next week, we will be announcing update 2.7. And uh, I'll, I'll hint this much that you've probably got a lot of gallery cards right now. You're going to need them. I think that's all I'm going to say at the moment. Zach, do you want to say anything about that? Uh, not this week, I don't. Okay. Say things. Nothing to say. Next week, um, 2.7 will be revealed. And then uh, the following week, the activity should be live. Uh, working with the Atomic guys, they've got a lot going on. Demand for... Um, what they're doing is higher than ever before. I think they're worrying, uh, working on hiring more developers. Hard to find developers that understand this stuff. It's still, you know, all very new. Mm -hmm. so. I want to say this, Joel. When you're sharing those cards on there, your your thing, we're putting borders around them. I want to share my screen. Sure. It's for whatever reason. Go ahead. I want to I want to show it. There's no borders around these. So the border is the is the the darker color of that. So you're going to see that there are none of those uh, of those particular borders on there. Like 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 for whatever reason it was just populating on yours. And for example, if we go in and were to look at the stamps, because I was freaking out there for a second, I was like, oh f, are we going to have to redo all of these? No, we are not. Because look, here are the stamps looking like stamps. It's because the white was blending in with the white background of the display window. I guess so. Whereas you can see the stamp function on mine? Yep. All right, cool. Very stampy. All right, I was freaking out for a little bit. I was like, yeah, wow, if we got to redo all of those, looks like we probably won't be launching on that day. Hopefully, we're good. All right, so there, the fifth promo card is um is happening and this is a tweet competition for lady lightning this is the fifth and final um promotional card that you can earn you'll definitely earn one in a variation if you participate and i believe that the tweet is up on uh, on our page let me just check and make sure on the twitters on bad crypto Let's see. Time for the tweet. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me share the screen again. I tweeted this on Bad Crypto. I believe Upland is also posting it on their official one, but this is the tweet an hour ago. <clears throat> the giveaway right here win one of five Lady Lightning Mythic Editions. Um, and to win one of the five, you need to follow these instructions. However, <coughs> in order to qualify, excuse me, for one of the other variations guaranteed, go check the, uh, the Discord on Upland. And uh, I think the instructions for participating will be there. And uh, may the resharing and tweetings be with you. May you win one of these five lady lightnings and be able to roam the cities that Upland roams in when such things take place. April 6th is the day. And I believe, um, did we share exactly? I don't think we shared how the sale is going to happen. So there's going to be a finite number of packs with that final number yet to be announced. We should have that announcement for you uh, next week, um, as well as the rarities and percentages for what you're going to find in the packs. <clears throat> Sale is going to be done in two parts. Uh, because Upland's community really is truly global, we're going to pre-mint everything in the set. Okay, so... Uh, it's purely going to be quantity based in terms of making sure you get some on April 6th at 12 noon Eastern daylight time, uh, which is now my time. Uh, half of the packs that are going to be for sale will go on sale. Those will sell out most likely way before the second part, which happens at 12 midnight. So 12 hours later, 
the second half of that quantity will go on sale. This way, everybody around the world gets a chance to get packs. You don't have to, you know, if you normally would be sleeping at that time, don't worry about it. Second part of the sale will happen. And we're going to hold off on letting you open them up until noon uh, Eastern Daylight Time on the 7th. So 24 hours after the first sale begins, you can begin opening packs. Um, and the reason we're delaying the opening for 24 hours is because there may be some surprises and we don't want to give anybody a, uh, an unfair advantage that has packs earlier to open that the other side of the world doesn't have. There may be surprises. Probably are surprises. Okay, there are surprises. So <clears throat> April 6th, two, two sales. Uh, it is not limited to one pack per person. It will be um, probably a timed limit on how many of each pack because there's going to be five packs. And um, I think we said 30 packs. I, I need to look at my numbers again. I think they're five and 30. Uh, and so those will be limited in terms of how many you can purchase at one time with a countdown um, timer to reset your ability to purchase more. We don't want somebody coming in just swooping, you know, mass quantities up and then scalping on the secondary market. No, no reason you can't buy some and turn a profit on it. Totally cool with that. But everybody's got to get a chance to, uh, to do that. So prices, quantities, all of that should be announced next week. Um, our existing WAX community is very engaged and involved in this. We think they're going to go super fast. Compound that with Uplands community being super engaged with, with what they're doing and wanting to get these block explorers. We see this being a very um, robust and fast sale. So you'll want to be ready with your WAX either during noon, um, noon or midnight EDT on the 6th. To grab your packs. I guess technically the second sale would be on the 7th at, mid, at midnight, right? Because once you hit midnight, it's the next day. But you get the point. If you don't get the point, raise your hand and then leave the room. Sir Lord Travis does not get the point. You must leave. You must leave the building. Or either that or he has a question or he needs to be dismissed to go to the bathroom. I'm not sure which it is. Where's, where's Rufus? Is he in your lap? Rufus, he wants to come on. Yeah. We, we need our All right. Hey, somebody just said Pixel 4A 5G. What a creative name, by the way. You know, you can change your name. Uh, add me on Twitter so I can tag you for the Metaverse Curse. You only have two Twitter followers. Now you have three because I've followed you. If anybody else needs a Twitter follower, uh, put your whole link in there, not just your app, but twitter.com so I can click it and go to the thing and I will follow you. Subwoofer says hi, along with AMP. I just have to say hi to Will, because I see Will there. And I was just reading all your, your messages. <laughs> Will is being super helpful. Oh, here's a piece of news for you guys. In case you didn't listen to uh, the Nifty Show that came out yesterday, uh, we're expanding the Nifty Show. The show is blowing up. Boom! Little, little Nifties everywhere. Um, we have officially entered the, the top 100 of Apple business investing category with um, with the Nifty Show. Uh, if you saw our numbers, it's crazy. And we thought, you know what? We do the interview show every Friday, but there's so much to talk about. Uh, we thought, why don't we start doing the Nifty News? And so the Nifty News is going to be a Tuesday show, be a shorter show, probably 30 to 45 minutes, where Travis and I are okay. just going to, maybe longer. We have a lot of words. Um, and that'll come out. It'll be a very casual format. The goal here is to make it unedited. Uh, we're just going to go through news. We're going to talk about stuff. want to keep the, the production really simple, kind of like the live show, only it won't be live. Although, Travis, maybe what we could do is find a way to, uh, to, to stream it live for the Discord. What do you think? Uh, it's, it's potential. One thing I was going to add is that if you notice in the Discord, if you have 50 hero, then you're going to see another uh, room that says like uh, crypto NFT news. And that link right there is a great place to put those articles. If you find some great stuff around NFT, maybe just hashtag it NFT 
or if you find something for bad crypto, just hashtag it crypto. And then uh, Aaron can go in and see some of those articles and then we can place them in the news because that's what a bad asset is, is uh, best at is you guys are already out there finding great stuff and maybe you find some additional uh, pieces of information. It's not in the admin area, be down a little bit farther, Joel. Yeah, I'm just gonna review really quickly here. So of course only admins see this part here. Everybody who comes in sees all this that's full of information, you know, read the FAQ and understand how it works. Um, you know, you'll type uh, exclamation join to join the server. This hero lobby is open to everyone. You don't need to have hero tokens to, uh, to be participating here. This is open conversation and it's not restricted to blockchain heroes. This is like our discord. We're treating differently than the telegram. In the Telegram, it's all, you know, you're supposed to talk blockchain heroes in the blockchain heroes channel, but this is for you guys to communicate and talk about all kinds of stuff, other NFT projects, other crypto projects. It's all cool. As long as you're not spamming and chilling in here, you can talk about whatever. But once you've got 50 hero, you have access to all this, the hero chat, the bad crypto podcast channel, nifty show. Uh, Blockchain Heroes has its own channel here, Finally Aligned, Talking Tokens, and this is the crypto NFT news. So if you guys find something, this is where Travis is talking about. Put that news story in here. You're helping us create um, the potential content for the Nifty News. And so uh, we appreciate that. And of course, if you're in the Hero channel, then you're able to participate. If I say airdrop 20 hero, and you guys are in there, the airdrop just appeared and you go click that thing and grab them up and you guys will divide those hero. So what, do you have a question? Do the thing. Can I tag you where? Uh, yeah, they can, they can tag you. Well, but just look in the crypto. Nifty. Okay, so since Aaron is compiling the news for the Nifty News, uh, if you will tag e cell crypto chick right here, you can see her in when you do a thing in here. You know, you can post a story and just do e cell, you'll see her name pops up, boom, like that, and share your story with that. That way, she it's brought to her attention that there's something new for her to look at. She'll take all the news, she'll drop it into a document for us so that when we record Tuesday, we've got it all to look at. And uh, you know, what'd be fun is if you could put the username of the person who dropped the story. That way we can give shout outs to all of them for helping to uh, contribute. Yeah, she's down with it. So right now, um, okay, go <laughs> <laughs> right now, Will is the, Lord Technical Rift is the, the chief supplier of the news is. Yes. Well, that's why he's a bad asseter. Right. He's mint number one of the bad asseters. I think, uh, I think our boy Nicholas Axe is uh, mint number two. Bitlord's up in there. Jimmy, Jimmy's up in there as well. I think you got mint, mint number four or something, Jimmy. Trav, how does somebody become a bad asseter? So bad asseters are, well, we asked you a couple weeks ago if you wanted to uh, become an intern or whatnot, and we sent out some forms and we chatted out with you. And so basically those of you who have been uh, key members of the community, it seems like Eric Kennedy, he should probably be a bad asseter. Are, uh, are you in the group? Basically, people who put on turn on their video. If you turn on your video, I want to be in the group. All right. Well, you'd be able to let you be a bad asset there. But I don't have to fill out something. You got to you got to fill out. You got to give up your firstborn, and uh, you got to sign this. Well, gotta, what if I don't have any kids? Cool. What's well, no big deal? We'll just send you over a docu sign. Go make a baby, then come on back. And <laughs> I give you my dog. <laughs> yeah, my dog. No, seriously. How can I sign up? No, it's really, it's like, a, do, you, do you have, uh, it's really, if you participate in the Discord and we want, we want to have folks who want to help out, you got, you want to clean up your dildo on the ground there, buddy. You got, you got a little mess there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. <laughs> it looks oh, as if, oh, that's a big one too, buddy. Um, Travis, you're fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we just like people who are helping out. You know what I mean? We got some. We want to do some research on some things. There's some uh, some compiling of some data, different things. I mean, Nick Nicholas Axe has been helping out, compiling a bunch of stuff. Technical Rip basically goes out and finds a bunch of news. And uh, is there a reason you're sharing your screen right now? To show off the dildo. I don't know. I want to vacuum every once in a while too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I have a question for uh, Lord Technical Rift. 
are, are you a lord now? Have, do, are you a Scottish landowner? Well, we cannot hear you. You do not have a microphone. Uh, he is in Scotland, apparently. He is. No he microphone. is also a lord. He is. Both, okay, uh, good. I just want to know if he's legit. I think he's pretty legit. I don't know if Jimmy is. Are you Lord Jimmy yet, Jimmy? Yes, I was a Lord before all you guys with my Lefroy uh, square foot ownership. Eight or nine oh, years. Oh, you're an OG Lord. Oh yeah. yeah. On a Scotch peat moss farm. Oh man, on a Scottish peat. Very nice. Oh yeah. I think Rufus wants to become a Lord. Lord, okay. Lord Rufus, that would be amazing. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do, gang. Uh, there, there's no special NFT giveaway tonight because as busy as we've been creating all the other things, um, don't have that. However, I think I can create a hero drop really quickly. So let me That'd just... That'd probably be awesome. Yeah, you guys talk and do words while I make a hero drop. I would say this, everyone, if you would go into the chat and see all your friends who have access who have typed in their, their Twitter handles. I think I've gotten almost everybody as long as it was a link. If it was not a link, then I don't know that I was able to click it. Gotta make it easy on me. But go follow all your other homies here. Go through or just look at my profile and see the last few people who I've followed. And then maybe you can follow them. I just wanna highlight that there is only one uh, Legendary Villain Collector's Edition left to claim for Series 2. Ooh. Oh, did you just snag one, did you? Ooh. Yes, I did. There remains one res. Did you pull the trigger on that two thousand, on that two thousand uh, penny pinch? Hell yes, I did. You did. I did. You had to make it happen. Good job, man. All right, uh, this is going to be for the first fifty people to claim. Log in to try roll into your roll wall and be ready. Uh, the first fifty people are going to get five euro each. I'm going to drop it into the Zoom chat to everybody. I'm going to give you a few seconds to get to the Zoom chat so that you can claim it. In five, four, three, dos, y uno, zero, boom. There it is. Go grab your, uh, don't type anything else into there yet so it doesn't scroll. Click the try roll link and go grab your heroes. And uh, I think I want to do, uh, let's do a short heroes only um, thing in the Discord. So I'm going to end. You have an error. It says error. Did somebody, is anybody else seeing error or is it working? I'm not clicking it. Why is it getting an error? It's got an error too. Yeah, I also got an error. Huh. I got an ID 10 yep. error. Is it succeeding for anybody? I got it. It worked. Okay, I'm not sure why it would, there's no reason. It you got to keep happen. clicking on it because you can't, back up. there's too many people trying to claim at once. Yeah, that's it. Half of them are gone. So grab the rest of them. Um, you just got to keep, yeah. I want, I want to be brief uh, in the Discord. This is five uh, hero, not yep, 50. Five here, 50 people can get five. Ah, uh, it's getting lower. Move the decimal point. So those of you who, um, who are in the uh, exclusive hero channel on the Discord, you've got your 50 hero, then you can come join us in there for just a, a short meeting tonight. Um, and if you don't have your hero, you can go on Uniswap. Let me give you the link where you can actually go grab yours and, and have access. I'm late to the party, I got none. Uh, here's the link to, the, I'm putting this in the Zoom right now. That's the link to the page uh, with the contract that you can, you know, click buy. It'll take you to Uniswap where you can get enough to go in. Once you're in the Hero Discord, I'll give you the link to the Discord. It is badco.in forward slash Discord. The link is right there. That'll take you in. And then once you're in there, You'll want to trigger the bot by typing exclamation join. All right. I think I followed everybody. So if you want to just go to my account, TW, and then see all the folks who I followed in the last, I followed about 20 of y'all, uh, then you can follow. I'm T-E-E-D-U-B-Y-A. Just type in uh, Travis Wright in uh, Twitter. You can find it. I think I got y'all. 
All right, I'll see uh, heroes in the uh, the Discord. Thanks everybody for uh, having. Which patience. room, you Which uh, room? The the chat room. There's a voice channel. You'll see. Look for me. I'll be voice there. Voice channel. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. See you guys.